Good morning. I'm just out, well, sit on my morning run, but really we're uh, walking to school. Alicia's with me. I'm kind of running, half running to school, and half walking and like running down and then running back and stuff. So I didn't go first thing this morning. I only woke up at seven and then this one came downstairs and like got into bed with me and stuff and it was like, no, I'm running. Hello. It's not happening. It is such a nice morning though. I just said I might go for like a hike up the hill or something. Look, I really fancy maybe. We like too. hiking up there or something today? We were too far. We finished the walk to school. We are back at home. I don't know whether I bet Stephen is still asleep. Is he still asleep? He is still asleep. Such a lazy sod. You can't see him. Right, I'm going to shower, get myself organised and sorted for the day. I'm off. I'm off on my own. No one wanted to come with me, so I'm just gonna go. I've just been having a little Google. There's, I think there's like three. I don't know whether they're classed as mountains or hills or whatever they're classed as here. Um, so I kind of just picked one. It's called the Sugarloaf Mountain, and there's a, um, there's a Sugarloaf Circuit. You can go on nationaltrust.org.uk, I think, and um, like look for walks and things like that. And yeah, I found this Sugarloaf walk that is supposedly about three and a half hours. I kind of like the biggest one that I've got. Well, it says between three and a half hours and five hours. I haven't really got time to do Well, I haven't, hopefully it won't take me five hours because I haven't got five hours. It's now half past 10. I need to be back for school time. So uh, yeah, it's about a 50 minute drive to get to the car park and then I'm off. It's such a nice day. I'm not really dressed for like hiking gear. I've got like, my jeans on and stuff, but hey. I'm pretty sure that that, oh, just behind that tree, that is the Sugarloaf Mountain. Driving to the car park, definitely feel like I'm on someone's kind of long driveway. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see that, but they've got like a little vineyard up there. Wow. So in no way can I find where the car park is, but I've just stopped for a second. I don't know whether, I don't know whether I'm gonna just stop here or continue to the car park, but let me just show you these views. They're so beautiful. And honestly, this camera does not given justice to how beautiful it is up here so nice i kind of thought i was going to hike up here though but i've kind of driven up i don't know i don't know whether they say i've just abandoned the car here <laughs> i don't know whether there's a car park up there or whether to actually just leave it here i mean i'm not in anyone's way maybe i'll just leave it here i don't know at the moment okay i'm going to continue quite a few cars have gone past me so i'm assuming that the car park is that way follow the crowd hey so nice, such a nice day. I think, I haven't checked yet, but I think that sign over there possibly would confirm that this is the Sugarloaf circuit that I found online. Found the car park, parked up. Look at the view. So stunning. My sister said I'd probably have to pay for this car park, but I don't, it's free, so that's good. Let's go and check out this sign. Yep. Sugarloaf, oh, it's all in Welsh. Oh no, here are, we have English as well. From here you can explore the open moorland and deeply wooded valleys of the Sugarloaf. Here's a map of it. Just in case I get lost and need it later, here's a map. Where am I now? I'm here. Oh yeah, so the, that was the circle. I may not do all of that, but we'll just see. Oh my goodness. I'm absolutely loving this. I've only been walking for five minutes, but I love it. It's like, how can you not love this? We're surrounded by fields, sheep, of course, we're in Wales, we're surrounded by sheep. Gorgeous views. It's such a lovely day. This is, yeah, I needed this. After the whole shock of like, we're staying in the UK and stuff. I need to do things like this when we're in the UK, things that, I love that, it really makes me happy. This makes me happy. There is just poo everywhere, so I mean, that's fun. These people are coming up, they're proper mountain trekkers, not like me with my jeans and trainers on. Hi, okay? 
got to say though, hikers are very friendly people. Just had a little chat with them. I say a chat, it was a kind of like a, hi, weather's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> that was kind of all the chat was, but yeah. So gorgeous, I love it. Look at these little guys, just chilling. You live in a beautiful place. Sheep, look at it. Oh, you're moving away from me. You're not like me. I'm nice. I'm not one of those ones that like eat you or anything like that. <laughs> Does he know the difference? They're staring at me. Imagine if they all like ran at me. That freaked me out. Shall I leave you be? You're a little lonely one over here. Hello. So can you see? So that's the sugar leaf. Like the green kind of path there. That's where I'm going to walk up. There's quite a few walkers actually. Looks pretty steep from far away. Hopefully it ain't too bad because I'm not the fittest. <laughs> okay, this is where the steep ascent begins. Can you tell by my complete out of breathness? <laughs> oh. Wow, this is hard work. This is hard work than running, I feel like. Oh my goodness. This sheep up ahead reminds me of my cat, Lightning, back at home. Anyone who's seen Lightning, does that remind you of Lightning? It's the same colours, same colours. Black head, black legs, white body. This is brutal, really, really brutal this bit. You can't tell, can you tell what angle? I honestly think I might die up on this mountain. Oh my goodness. If you ever see this vlog, it's because I've died. This bit is maybe like 45 degrees. Wow. Look how amazing this is. Definitely worth the climb. Oh, not far to go now. Nearly there. Full disclosure, I was going to uh, halfway up. I was going to give up and just pretend that I'd got to the top and just tell you guys that I'd got to the top. Take some shots as if I'd got to the top. But I was like, no, Sarah, you can do this. Keep going. You'll be so proud of yourself and please when you get to the top. Don't lie to the viewers. Don't lie to yourself. Oh, we're joined by a couple of horses right up near the top. The odd sheep as well, actually. Don't know what to bother them. I'm so glad I didn't stop halfway up. I'd have been really annoyed with myself. It's just so beautiful. Look, it's only a tiny little top. You can just see everywhere. Look there, there are some like grandma and granddad and like little kids. Very impressed that they're sitting at the top. Both the kids are the only people to be honest. So beautiful. I'm just going to sit on the edge for a little bit and chill. I should have brought like a little snack with me. That was an error. But uh, never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here. That was so good. I'm at the top, so glad I made it. I am now starting my walk down. Hopefully, maybe it'll be easier. I was quite ashamed to see there was like quite a lot of, whoa, uh, little kids at the top. Like there was like three, four people. Oh my goodness, how the hell have they got up there? I shouldn't have complained. I, I wasn't really complaining. 
Are they complaining? I don't know. So I came up that way and I'm hoping, I'm going to go down this way, I'm assuming that I can get, I can't see the car park. I'm assuming I can get to the car park. This way, maybe I just go that way, I have no idea. Down, I'm just on a phone call. I never answer my phone unless it's a number. I hope you can hear me because it's a bit windy. Um, I never answer my phone normally, my mobile, unless it's a number that I recognise. But it was a an Omscape number. Well, actually, it was a scan sale number. But anyway, so I answered it. I don't normally. I don't know why I did. But uh, it was the school that Stephen wants to go to, uh, saying that if we can go in for an appointment on Friday. So we are going down half eleven on Friday to kind of meet with head of year eight and somebody else I can't remember who she said so that'll be fun for Friday see sort of what the deal is with it all God knows where I am you know I always get lost everywhere I don't even think I'm on well I'm kind of on a proper path but not really on a proper path I wouldn't recommend this when you're on your own it's not the safest thing to do to be getting lost but I don't think I am lost I think I'm well if I continue I know I've got my map and the car park is this way <laughs> somewhere I'm definitely off path now and in the middle of nowhere but I think if I go up here I will join the main path that is the plan anyway <laughs> oh yeah look the main path is here so I came I think I kind of went the long way I came down and up maybe not the long way but like there were more difficult to go up and down up and down back on a path feels good and there's the car park. We made it back. That was so good. Back at the car park. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy these views for a little bit before I head back because when I head back, no doubt we will just be sitting inside the house. And I don't really want to do that. Back in the car, let's go and see what everyone else has been up to. Hello. Have you been outside at all today? <sighs> okay, we're going back out. I've just been doing a quick bit of editing whilst we're in the house. We're going on the school run and then I think we're just going into Abergavenny Town Centre and possibly to the castle and stuff. I think everyone is coming. Well, everyone is coming, my mum and everyone. <laughs> I knew that you'd know I was there because that's where I went yesterday. <laughs> Okay, back from school, complete change of plan because apparently they had a Halloween party for tomorrow night but they've changed it last minute to tonight. Oh, thank you. For me? They've changed. I know, yeah, it swirls. No, the Halloween party was supposed to be tomorrow night but apparently today they've changed it to quarter past four. So, which seems really odd to me. I don't know how you can just change the Halloween party for the same day. So, I think we're going to... The kids are just going to go on their scooters here for a little bit. She's going to do the Alicia's going to do the Halloween party at quarter past four. My sister says it's still quarter past five, which I don't think seems very long an hour. But anyway, and then probably after the Halloween party, we'll go into town on the scooters. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, pain, hey. Scooter hurt you. Okay. No, I don't know what you're laughing at either. <laughs> so um, I've just checked online, no, the school haven't changed or anything. My sister's made a cock up and just got the dates on. So, yeah, I think that's still the plan. Are we having fun out here? I can hear you screaming. Is he scared? He's a big, horrible boy, isn't he? <laughs> oh, he's not. He's lovely. Uh, yeah, so we're still going to just do that. She's going to do a disco and then we're probably just going to go into town for a bit. You want to go into town with, yeah, it's Halloween disco. Do you want to go in with scooters, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Stephen is shouting me. What's the matter? Oh, a little black cat. Oh, that, that was his what? Lost his eye. A dog. Oh. Did his eye, I remember. 
Oh, I didn't know that too, remember? Oh, what a poor little thing. A dog here, and he's still alive. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Oh, oh, bless him. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. You want your wings? You out? All right, have a nice time. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. yeah, that is that, that's a branch, not a stick, right? <laughs> the um, Halloween disco is finished. We've grabbed Alicia from it, and we're just going. I don't know really. Kids got the scooters. Just going out for a little while. Jesus. Castle Street. I'm assuming the castle is yeah. going to be on this street somewhere. That's where we're going, Castle. Museum and castle. Yeah, we normally walk up that way. Oh, the gates are shut. It's closed. Let's go and see what it says. Open every day. 11 till 4. We can't get in the castle. Change of plan. Where should we go now? Linda Vista. You know. What's it called? Where do you want to go? Where to? Hey, that's quite a big school, right? Yeah. Oh. Where are we? Linda Vista. Yeah. Linda Vista Garden. So these clothes. So, oh, 6 p.m. in winter. Oh, so we've only got a few minutes. <laughs> Which is the magic tree. Why is it magic? What happens if you press that? Ants come. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was what made it magic. I don't want ants all over me. <laughs> press. Found a little uh, seat to rest on. Oh, that was nice. My sister bought some, uh, well, just some, I was going to say like a little picnic, but it was just fruit, really, some bananas and apples, just a little picnic, sat down. Kids are just playing. Did she just, oh, bugs. And she just came out. They're playing hide and seek in here. Little kids in hide and seek, drives us insane. The sky is so beautiful. You really can't see it from here, but it's so pink behind those trees. You can't tell me it's a great hide It's now, <laughs> it's like five past six now, and people are still walking through, so I think it's, Summer hours. I don't think that's very clear, is it? Saying summer and winter. When would you classify summer and winter as? Can you make sure Oh yeah. Are you counting? One, two, yeah. three. What's she counting? Four, two, twenty. Five, six, seven, no. eight, nine, ten. Ready or not? Here I come. Where is he? You see him, do you? Oh, get him! <laughs> Off he goes! Whoa! And again, are you okay? See, that's why you shouldn't be doing it. Well, it's okay, you can try. Are you alright? No. No. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Twice, Stephen's had bad falls whilst he's been out on his scooter. Um, it is. Oh, he's not very impressed. <laughs> right, it's getting dark now, so we are heading home to get some tea. <laughs> That's weird. Is it nice? Yeah. <laughs> Stephen's just said it, yeah, they're, they're exactly the same. <laughs> Stephen's just said it's so chocolatey. The reason it's so yeah. chocolatey is because my sister makes hot chocolate with it says three teaspoons of powder. She puts three tablespoons <laughs> of hot chocolate in. 